Today on Try This at Home, we're going to be looking at something that, as far as I know, hasn't really been tested before. We see constantly, um, if you go to an auto parts store, there's a thousand different fuel system additives, um, all ranging in claims from cleaning fuel injectors, stabilizing fuel, uh, preventing uneven tire wear, uh, correcting male pattern baldness, uh, pretty, pretty much anything that could be claimed, they have claimed, and then some. Um, but what happens if your fuel already has gone bad? A fuel stabilizer won't do you any good. Will any of the treatments bring old fuel back to life? Well, I've got a few jars here lined up, each with a very stale gas. Um, this was a marine gas, a 93 octane, 100% gas, so it shouldn't degrade that badly over a normal period of time. However, this had been in a jet ski for upwards of two years uh, without being ridden, without being moved. It just sat for about two years. So here is some really nasty gas. We have two different products here. Um, this is a popular one that I've seen used a lot. It's a Startron enzyme fuel treatment. Now right in the little uh, pamphlet that comes with this, it shows a before and after picture and explains that in their laboratory test it increased the octane rating, preventing varnish gum buildup, uh, blah 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 blah, and basically says that it will stabilize the fuel chemistry after it has been stored. That's the situation we're in. This fuel has been stored far too long. Will this bring it back? Another a popular additive. Now, I use this a lot for a lot of different things is sea foam. Now it doesn't specifically say that sea foam will um, restore old fuel. So I'm using that as somewhat of a control to see if it will drop some of the varnish out or if it will have no effect at all. So one of these will be a control, one will be the Startron, one will be the sea foam. So each of them, we will um, put the recommended amount in. There's exactly two cups of fuel in each of these. So for both products, they recommend one ounce per gallon, which works out to just about three quarters of a teaspoon per two cups. So we're going to go ahead and put it in. And then after some time has elapsed, We'll see what's changed. As you can see, there's just over three quarters of a teaspoon in the syringe. We will add it to the test jar. As you can see here, just about three quarters of a teaspoon, or four milliliters approximately. So we'll put this into this container. Okay. So now that the additives have been added, set each container behind each can and we will seal the lids. See what happens. Well, after having sat for one hour, the samples don't appear to have changed at all. Um, 
removing the cans from behind, you can really see there's not really much of a noticeable difference. Um, they all pretty much look the same. We'll try agitating them a little bit. See if we can smash them into the other ones too, that's always good for them. And this is of course the control. Still look the same. So let's leave them for longer. I'll check back sometime tomorrow. Well, it's been a little more than 24 hours. Um, originally the first video was on Friday, it's now Sunday night. So it's been over two days. And as you can see, we'll move these from behind, there's really no discernible difference. They still look the same. They still act the same. They're they haven't changed. So the best option for uh, restoring your stale gas is don't. Replace it. Drain it out. Put in fresh gas. Because once it goes bad to this extent, it can't be brought back by any method that I know of yet. If you have suggestions or ideas, feel free to leave a comment and I'll give your idea a try for sure. Um, I have probably about four more gallons of this left, so thanks for watching. This is Try This at Home, and uh, leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more things like this. Alright, thanks for watching.